Tuesday afternoon in the Motor City. Time for another homegrown happy hour. I'm Frank Williams Jr. and my guest brought the sunshine again every time he's on. It's a sunny day outside. And that's something. And that's something. Fourth time's a charm. Let's welcome Austin Scott to Music Town Detroit. You always duck down when I introduce you. That's like the third time you've done that. Fourth time you've been on the show. Third time when I say your name, you duck. Oh, what was that? All right. How you been, man? You've been, been recording fantastic. music. Fantastic. I've been recording and traveling. Working every day. Uh, we've been down in Nashville. We uh, have new songs on the website now, so people can hear my songs again, finally. Speaking of new songs, they're going to hear them here, too. We have some new material for you, yes. <laughs> what are you looking at? No, I'm looking at the engineer guy. <laughs> so, first up, we got a song called Small Town Boy. Yeah. And this isn't a cover. This is your own original song. I feel like we're starting off too quickly. How have you been? I've been all right. You've been, been okay? good. It's good I, to you see wanna, you again. Do you want to crack into Nashville right off rip? We can do whatever. I was saving you that because we have a funny story involved We've in Nashville. Got all kind of, I can't wait to hear it. Well, this, you already <laughs> this song was written in Nashville. Was our it? first one for the day. Can we just start off with the song? No, we'll talk. We'll talk for a second about the okay. new album. Okay. So you've been recording music. We have been. As where have you been recording the music at? In a city called Hendersonville, which is where Johnny Cash lived. Okay. And it's about 20 minutes outside of downtown Nashville, and uh, there's this amazing house that's down this row of huge mansion <laughs> after mansion after mansion, and you get down to the end of the street, and then there's this. Uh, there's this old house with a it's not a mansion. old swimming pool with a tree growing out through the middle of it. And, and That's pretty cool, though. And it's just hidden back along this river. It's if I were you, I'd be like looking through, like, oh wow, look at all these houses. I'm going here. This is a oh, that's small. <laughs> that's good. cool, though. Yeah. But so the last time though we were in, I was in Nashville at the earlier last month, and I was drinking on Broadway. I get back to the hotel, and then your mother posts on Facebook. And goes, Austin Scott performing live downtown in Nashville. I'm like, I missed you. My mom's a Facebook professional. She's your social media team. She, yeah, she, she helps uh, uh, very much, so I'm gr grateful for it. I need all the help I can get. Oh, one, one man cannot do all these jobs well. He can do them okay, but not well. What did you get her for Mother's Day? Uh, what did I get her for Mother's Day? I bought her dinner at Panera Bread. That's it? Yeah. Oh. Well, that's that's her I, I still liked it. Thanks a lot. You make me feel bad. You what? say that's it? Well, I mean, it's something. I, I it's better stressed than out on Mother's Day. Really? Yeah, I didn't you know what to get be. my mom. I got her flowers, took her out for dinner. I mean, I know it's a good gift, but I like I. Well, I it's know. not so much what you buy her; it's the it's time. The no, it's the time that you spend with her is what she loves. Fair enough. She loves to spend time with her son, just like all mothers do. Does this guy next to you like to spend time with you? How long well, have you guys been spending time together? Well, <laughs> uh, we met a few years ago. I'm sorry. It's just we need to three introduce or four your bandmate here. Show. And we didn't forget about you. It just didn't. We love each other, me and Frank. <laughs> and when we see each other, we just carry on like the whole world just disappears. Ladies and gentlemen, for his first ever appearance, we'd like to make an introduction to our second musician that we have here today. This is my good friend, Ann Dolbro, hey! all the way from Berkeley, Michigan. Please make some noise for Mr. Dave Falk. Oh, like, yeah. What did you say his name was? Dave, Ando Bro? Dave Falk, and he plays the Dobro. Oh, the Dobro. Dave, introduce yourself. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Dave the Dobro. I like that. <laughs> Thank you for that great introduction. <laughs> you deserve it. Well, can we get into some music now? I think he's ready to go. It sounds like you're ready to go. I think that was a lot of wonderful banter. That, I think but that, that was, was you really wanted great. to spread it out a little I bit. I think it's good that we spent some time getting reacquainted. <laughs> <sighs> uh, you know, you said we loved each other. I, I don't see any pastries or cakes or usually bring something. We're going to get to that. All right. All right. First song we got is Small Town Boy. This is called Small Town Boy. He threw his car in park out behind the house. He threw his guitar in the trunk before he headed out. Pace the floor about an hour from the sun went down. Took a dirt road southbound out of this town. Pinned a picture and a paper to the back screen door. Told his mama that he was sorry for the dust stirred up. The money he owed. Tell the preacher I could use a little praying for. Said I can't speak. small town boy I don't want to love small town girl no I can't wear these boots no more that ain't what God built before huh, that ain't what God built before the only thing around here is trouble and men I can't sing I ain't pretty but I know who I am every time I turn around dead end street I got a dead with my judge about my destiny I had a scuffle with a couple at the rusty nail I got a one-way ticket to the county jail for one big boy it's two front teeth somehow we got the no 
she knew was better than me Said I can't speak for the rest of the world I don't want to be a small town boy I don't want to love a small town girl No, I can't wear these boots no more That ain't what God built me for He was banging on the door But three of the men said That boy Frank is a wanted man For his own damn sake Turn his ass in Mama spoke up and said he's long gone Sheriff, tell him he done no wrong And tell him that it ain't no sin Fighting for the love of that sweet old name I said I can't speak for the rest of the world I don't want to be a small town boy I don't Small town girl, no, I can't wear these boots no more. That ain't what God built me for. Oh, that ain't what God built me for. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. He threw his guitar in the trunk for him, hit it out, pissed the floor about an hour before the sun went down. A dirt road southbound out of this town. You always write the catchiest too, man. <laughs> so how are so a song like that, how long would you say it? takes you to write because the song we're going to get to later i know it took you a while but a song like that i didn't write that song no no that was a song that uh i learned in nashville from an actual nashville songwriter did his they like present it to you or his name they? is buddy farler and i ended up on stage with him one night and he was just like he sang this song and i loved it and i like i d never i never asked for people to write songs for me and that's just not what i do but when i heard that i'm like Whoosh, that's the next wagon wheel Who's cutting that? Can I cut it? And uh, so I play that on my shows now. So did like, you ask him if you could cut it? or? I did. <laughs> I did. And then a tree fell on his house. And then um, so it kind of got pushed back. <laughs> a little bit. It's yeah. needless to say, a little bit. Just a little bit. So, yeah. And That's then, cool, though. So is that how it usually works with the song? It thing? does. Most of the big song people that not all, not all, not all, but most, you know, they have right. the, the labels have their own songwriters. I'm sure a lot of artists do write their own songs. I'm not going to say that the major labels, artists don't write their own songs, but I know they have full staff writers that want to write their songs for them or with them. But that's the importance of going down there and doing the rounds and just meeting people and networking and finding and because you never know what song you're going to hear by right. who. I've been trying and to crack that nut of Nashville for uh, many years now. I'm, I'm 37. I moved down there when I was 19, and I've been back and forth many times and lived down there and done all kinds of stuff, just like lots of other people have. But um, I still uh, am at it. Um, I, ha I have a gig down there at Bridgestone Arena where the Predators play. Which is where you were playing that night we were there. I don't know if it's a sin to say the Predators when you're in Hockey Town in Detroit. I Please forgive my full I'm going to stick up for you a little bit Thank on this. Thank you. Because when I went to Nashville, I went to a Predators game. There you go. And I play at them. The em. experience of going to that arena was really awesome. Well, yeah. I'm not going to lie. It was a lot sure. of fun. Now down Nashville, not just so much for the drinking and the, the country, but right. like the whole logistic of getting people into the arena and parking and getting in like that. They we can, can take something from that they here can in Detroit. Handle, they can handle the big crowds. Yeah. They just had the NFL draft yep. in downtown Nashville, yep. which engulfed yep. that downtown. We got out the before that happened, streets. but they were getting ready for it. <laughs> it was so busy, they canceled my gig at the arena oh. because they wanted to have the NFL draft playing the whole entire time on all the TVs. No music, so my gig got canceled. Did you understand, or were you upset? Uh, you know what? I don't get upset. I say this is just the way things are supposed to be. Did you watch the draft? 
I didn't. <laughs> I would have been bitter. I didn't. No, no, it's okay. I'll, you just, I love them anyways. It's fine. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, I love them anyways. That's cool. So let's get back to Dave for a second. How long have you guys been jamming? Because usually when you, you do a show, you're by yourself. Uh, yeah. Well, no, I have a full band. But when I, you're here with me, though, you're by yourself. I am by myself. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, yeah, actually, I know your drummer, your old drummer, pretty well. I don't know if you still jam with John Porter at all. I do still. He, he, yeah, he's, he's, he's playing with us this coming Friday at the Dixie Moon Saloon. 9 to 12.30 in downtown Royal Oak on Main Street. Dixie Moon Saloon, Austin you, Scouts playing this Friday. You drink, you get, let that kid drink. He'll tell you stories about me back in. I've known that kid since I was like 13 or 14. He only years. says good things about people. John's a wonderful guy. Just like this me. gentleman that is <laughs> next to me, uh, Mr. Dave Falk. I've known Dave for a couple years now, and um, he's, he jumps in and plays almost 100 gigs a year. He's a dedicated, amazing musician. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise, Mr. Dave Falk. Hey! Was that a sound? I, That's our studio we, audience, by the hey. way. Thank you all for being here. Where did you get that? You wouldn't believe what they had to <laughs> pay for cool. parking. <laughs> I'm kidding. I want to know what you paid for that a sound effect. That was thank you. That was nice. I got it off the internet for free. <laughs> so Dave, is it's the Dobro, right? Yes. Now is that the only instrument you play? What else do you no, play? No, I also play guitar. Okay. And lap steel. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. What's the one of the, the the nicest things that you can say about my guest Austin Scott here? He's a good driver. <laughs> I did not see that coming. To be 100% honest. We came, with you. let me tell you something. When you come to Detroit, there's only one way to come down here. The and Austin it, Scott way. That is well, it's I learned it from someone else. It's coming down Woodward. Go to Royal Oak and drive Woodward off 696. Drive Woodward straight down here and it is becoming a beautiful Beautiful thing. The city, I see people out cleaning. There's people out there helping and doing wonderful things out there. And when you come down here, it's a whole new city. So cool. it's, it's a good thing. It's nice to hear that. And the churches are beautiful. I mean, it's gorgeous what we have here and what exists just up in Midtown and up the street. It's really quite something. People, people are starting to realize that. They like it took a while for them to come around, but they're starting to figure it right, out. Right, they are. Well, you know, it started down Jefferson and Woodward, and then it's, of course, moving northbound. But yep. it's really coming a long way. It's really quite something uh, to go down at lunchtime at Campus Marshall's Park and to see all the food trucks and to have, you know, coffee at the roasting pot or to go into a townhouse and have a hamburger. So you spend a lot of time down there. Walk the waterfront. Well, um, my <laughs> You're job- You're selling the city. I hope, I hope someone that like does the development of the city of Detroit's listening, you can run a commercial. Thanks. Well, <laughs> I, I've, you know, I have done a few commercials. I did one for something called um, the uh, Homegrown homegrown hoedown show that's hosted by Frank Williams Jr. I once did a commercial for him. It's called the Homegrown Happy Hour. Homegrown Happy Hour. <laughs> that's probably why it was different. It was a Homegrown Hoedown, wrong show. Anyways, <laughs> I hope we're not boring anybody at home. No, I, I think it's always fun when you're on the show. Thanks. I really try it's to do my best when I come down here. Yeah, it's fun. Um, you know what? Uh, before we get into, our, should we do our next song or should we, we keep could, talking? We could, but I, I mean, that, in, in response to something you just said, though, like, you know, our banter might be a little strange to people, then that's fine. But if they see you live, and I've heard this from so many people, they see you live, they're blown away. Thanks. Because they think we're probably just a bunch of nuts. And then they see you like, wow, he's actually really talented. I've been at it for a long time. How long? I started at eight playing piano. Wow. And then switched to guitar at 16, moved to Nashville at 19 with a fake ID. Got you kicked out of Tennessee, <laughs> came back here. Do you think learning piano before everything else was probably sure. the best move? Because I heard sure. piano is the hardest. Well, you know what? Um, I wouldn't know because I've never played the tuba or I've never played That's the true. saxophone. That's true. I never played the marimba. But universally speaking, most people would say the piano is the hardest to get. I, I don't know. I don't All know. All you how to have play to do I, is I, push down on the key in it. Or you just the use right your key, one though. You got to know what key you're hitting. You got to go fast. You ever see Liberace? He's quick. <laughs> speaking of fast. Yeah, this next song. <laughs> nice, nice segue. I like this. This Thanks. next song is called Run, Rabbit, Run. It's called Run, Rabbit, Run. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this song is about a bear, a rabbit, a fish, and an eagle. That soar majestically through the air. I'll run, rabbit run. Oh, run, rabbit run. With a wolf, always right on your tail. Pull a wolf, yeah, right on your tail. I'll swim. Salmon swim Oh swim Salmon swim Oh 
for the bear is right on your tail. For that bear is right on your tail. Forgiving all that you care, spend on nothing, get what you give. Ain't that something you never know where it will lead? But you will find out oh, when you succeed, so please. I don't give up on me. All fly, eagle fly. Oh, fly, eagle fly. Oh, that arrow is right on your tail. Absolutely unplugged. You lost your headphones. <laughs> they don't slip off. They, they, run headphones, run. <laughs> still, that Thanks, was still pretty man. awesome, man. Thank you. You're <laughs> so, awesome. No, I appreciate that. So, what, what, uh, all these songs, do you still, do you ever not have fun <laughs> when you're playing your music? No, that brings me some of the, the greatest joy that I have in life. Uh, you know, because when you play, all of your problems and thoughts, uh, they all go away. And you just focus on one thing, and that's playing the song the best you can. It's amazing. If you use music as a release yourself when you're performing, it's probably probably the best form of just stress relief, I guess. You know, if you don't stress about where am I playing next, how am I going to release this song, when you stress about that kind of stuff, it stops stops being kind of fun. It seems like right. No, you got to focus on on the good stuff. But speaking of writing songs, you just got done with the uh, the the I don't know, is it an album or is it just a few songs you recorded? Uh, it's five going on six. Okay. Yeah, if I'm going the on two six. that we've heard, are they both on there already? Uh, neither of them. You should put that last one at least. This last one is we just did it, and you can find Hip Hip Reyes, our next song. We don't want to get into quickly now. We still have a few yeah, more things to cover. Yeah, we have a couple to more minutes to talk. Yeah. We got a couple more things to cover. <laughs> Hip Hip Reyes is recorded and is on the website, which, which is, is austinscottmusic.com, and then you go on the website, and then you go to my store or music. That either will take you. Okay. You can download it. And are you on Spotify and stuff like that? We too? are. Okay. There's like 16 different digital streaming platforms that we that it all went out on. So if you can name it, Hip Hip Hooray is out there. It could be floating through this room. This song scares me. This on a wavelength that we can't even see. <laughs> so there's a few more things I'd like to get to before Absolutely. before we wrap things up. For for starters, uh, I'd like to say you are um, uh, quite psychic. I am. You have abilities that you may not be aware of. Mm. Yes, it is true that from time to time, Austin Scott has been known to bring a pastry, a pie, <laughs> cookies. Started with a, a cherry cobbler back uh, maybe it was, a year and a half ago. It was ago. peach. It was, okay, it was no, peach. I think it upgraded a peach. It was peach. And then it was chocolate muffins. We had some mixed berry in and there, too. It was too. pretty good, yeah. It was nice. Every time. Today, when you walked in here, what did you... Call me stud muffin because that's what I was thinking of muffins. And guess <laughs> and guess what I brought you? You brought Muff me muffins? Yeah, I got you not just any muffins. I got you organic 
gluten free <laughs> blueberry <laughs> muffin from a local bakery that was baked this morning. Really? From Avalon Bakery. But it's not here, so let me guess you ate it already. I brought five. Ooh. One for you. Ooh. One for you. All right. Oh, you know you're getting one. And one for my good friend Dave. Ryan and Annie are beside themselves right now. They don't know what to think. They're like, we get food? Frank usually just yells at us back here. That was amazing. (laughs) That was so cool. It's not just Poochkey Day, you guys. You guys get fed as long as I can get artists that are willing to feed you. You know, there's not a whole lot of men in this world who call me (laughs) Stud Muffin. (laughs) Why? There was a plan. I'm like, what's up, Stud Muffin? Why'd you call me that? Because I want muffins. And you had nothing. But you do. So I'm confused now. (laughs) When you come to... Music Town, you have to bring your A game. Yeah, and you have, I'd say. It's all or nothing when you come to Detroit. <laughs> okay, that's how it goes in this town. You let's have go, to bring it. Let's go back to your songs really quick, though. That was good. That was, what? What? That was good. I'm you should on, bring your A game. I'm checking on He Dave. does bring his A game. Yeah. I was going to say after the last song, you know, that one skit. It's like, I need more Cowboy. Well, I need more Dabro. Wow. I need <laughs> Dabro Dave over here. <laughs> That's cool, then. That's a good sound. Like not a lot of the, the Dobros or steel guitars or whatever, they, they, not many make it to the homegrown happy hour. Right. So to have that on, it's, it's, it's a nice sound change. It's a nice little change of... He's here because my mom said that I need to bring another musician with me. Your so mom said that? Yeah, my mom said at, at Mother's Day, Panera, the other night, the, on Sunday. So if it was up to Austin, you wouldn't be here. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Thank my mom for being here. No, I'm glad he Thanks, came. Mom. Yeah. Nothing wrong with just you, but I'm glad he came. Well, you nice gotta little, try nice to spice addition. it up. Yeah, you get the more the better. You see, making music is a lot like making love. It's much better with two people. It is much better with two people. It's You're much right. better with two people. It's much better with two people. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get to these muffins, but the, the the interesting thing about this next song is, so every time you've been on the Homegrown Happy Hour, you have performed this song, but now yeah. it's officially it's out there. It's out there now. Yeah. Is this recorded and it's it's technically a single or? Yeah, you could you could call okay. it that. It's called Hip Hip Hooray. Yeah, this is a song about being grateful. Hold on, no, and it took you six months to record this song. Well, I kept trying and trying and trying and trying to get it right and get it the best I possibly could make it. And then we took all the tracks from Michigan and we put them on a thumb drive and we flew them down to Nashville and we plugged them into their computer brought them all up and then we hired the drummer from Lady Antebellum and he comes in and plays drums over it and it's all remixed and the this uh, studio guy I work with he plays in Kid Rock's band uh, his name is Mark Dreyer is it, is amazing he's it's really really amazing so you record it here first you you particularly you recorded right. here and then you took those tracks to Nashville and then re-recorded and then ca- and kept cool. building it kept working that's really on cool it. yeah and every time, and now, that, now the disclaimer, and I promised I would put the disclaimer on the song. Every time you perform this, you've made me sing it. I won't make you do anything. I told you, you don't not want today. To, do. Not today. I have a feeling though, there's like a slight chance you're going to turn to me and start making me start singing. You only if you want to. If you do that, you're buying lunch. Sunshine comes from within. <laughs> well, you brought it with you today. That's for sure. Thanks, man. All right, let's hear one last song. Austin one Scott and Dave. Song. Dave, thanks for coming in, man. I appreciate you're it. Welcome. Thanks Feel like for you're kind of like over there. We're talking. You, you've been a, you've been a good sport, and you sound amazing, both of you. This is Hip Hip Hooray. Austin Scott live at Music Town Detroit. Remember, the force will be with you. Always. I need some time out walking, too much see if I'm talking. I think that sometimes life sure can get you down. But I see a rainbow. Suddenly I know all the bad was turned right side upside down. And I started singing, my steps start springing to a happy place. So that I have found if you feel like I feel, it's okay to reveal that you were wild. So won't you sing out loud? Hip, hip, hooray, hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hooray, hip, hooray. Hip memory, hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray. All oh, hip hip hooray. I'm dancing, I'm out walking. I'm to myself and talking. I think that sometimes life sure can get you down. But I see a rainbow. Suddenly I know. All the bad turned right side upside down. And 
I start singing My strip start spring To a happy place So that I have family Feel like I feel It's okay to breathe in I chew a while So won't you sing out loud In memory February 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 In memory memory In memory Headlights shining on cars. I go back now to the place where I began. Carefully I listen to laughter in the distance. And ocean waves rolling up on the sand. I lay my head down, listen to the news sound. June fox calling in. The will no trees, and I pray with folded hands. All peace and love all across the land. Happiness to never cease in February, 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 in memory, memory, in memory. I'd like to thank everyone here at Music Town today. If you have a fantastic engineer and a fantastic manager and a fantastic DJ, I'm Austin Scott. Thank you all very much. Hope you have a wonderful day. Remember to be good and kind to one another. Tell someone that you love them. Pick someone up when they're feeling down. Always look before you leap. And for good Lord's sake, remember that we're all in this together. Thank you very much. I couldn't have said that better myself. Austin Scott, thank you so much for hey, joining me. You're welcome. That was awesome, man. <laughs> I'm Frank Williams Jr., Austin Scott, Dave on the Dobro. We're live in Music Town, Detroit, every Tuesday for the Homegrown Happy Hour. And if you're local and you want to be on, send an email, frankjrradio at gmail.com. Bring pastries. And bring pastries. That helps a lot. We'll see you next week, everybody.